Hello everyone. You may notice that I have a different background. And sorry about the nails. They're like dipping. If that bothers you, it's fine. Anyway, I have two DIYs that you can do if you are bored at home. So the first one, I'm not well this is everywhere on the internet on YouTube and stuff, except I figured out um, something else that you can use instead of clear tape. So I'm going to be teaching you how to make a paper squishy. You can like hear the air inside of it. And I don't have a show for this one, but I'm going to teach you how to make your own scratch off the black. So, let's get started. Um, for, the, for the squishy, you'll need paper. I have this scrap paper left over from something I did, so I have that. A whole bunch of it in case I make a mistake. And then some pencils to draw out your squishy design and what you want and you're going to need scissors to cut out your shape and here's the other way so on this one it, um in most of them it says you need um clear tape to put around um like the color of paper you're using or just draw out your design I'm going to be using blank paper since um, right now I don't have this like super clear packaging tape. So what I'm using is I'm going to be making a bouquet of flowers and I'm going to be using pink and green tape for it. And I'm going to use a yellow marker on the outside of the tape to do it. To draw the insides of the pink flowers. So that is another way you can do it. Then you're going to need whatever filling you want for your squishy. You can use stuffing, but this is not the best for it. You can use um, a plastic bag. And if you have it, you can use um, pieces of foam. Uh, the, the way I got um, those pieces of foam was from um, one of those I can't find it right now what control it's those like those little balls that are foamy I had one that was like a real like really squishy so I cut it into pieces and I have foam I also have bags of memory foam too but I don't know where that is so I'm not using that. Let's get started. So get started by taking a piece of paper and folding it in half or you could use two pieces of paper and tape them together. But I'm using a folded in half piece of paper. Then you're going to draw out your design. So like I said, I'm going to be making a little bouquet of flowers.
M&M's now. Again, I mean, like, um, and I'm checking to make sure the bo both of the shapes are lined up. They're lined up-ish. It's pretty good. So right now I'm going to start taping this together. I'm going to start with taping off the stems. Folding the tape over, I might need a pair of scissors, and I'm going to to make a little cut in each so it'll fold over, because I don't like having those thick edges with the tape. Deepen the lines of the bow. That. So now the bow is on. And I'm going to go in with more green tape for the rest of the stems. again to deepen the stem lines right where they were before because this tape is a little bit see-through but I'm not sure if you can see through it through the camera you know but anyway I'm going to start layering the flowers with pink tape like a hot mess so we're going to go in to fix that later and now all you have to do is add your filling you might have to cut some tape if you accidentally tape the top like I did a little bit Flower. 
I don't have time to do the edges right now, so I'm going to do that as soon as everything is taped over, because you kind of just got to get it taped quickly enough that it won't, the foam won't, like, start squeezing out. Don't add too much or it will be a little bit hard, but don't add too little or it'll just be like paper, normal paper with a little bit of squish to it. So you got to be careful with how much you add and stuff like that. So I have done the entire front of it. I'm going to go in with a pencil for the details of the flower. the flower details and I'm done with the flower details and the back the hot mess we're going to tape over that now so right here I know that the bow is here so I'm going to add pink tape right there. If there's any extras, I'm just going to Cleaned it up. Great. Now you have a squishy. Um. Yeah. Um. If you want, you could go in with a needle. This is optional, which is why I didn't put it in. What you'll be needing because you don't need it, but it might help. A lot but if you like it the way it is that's also okay so I'm just grabbing a needle because it's what I usually do well if I can find one maybe. I didn't think I'd be doing this I thought this one might work out a little better but it didn't so I'm actually just gonna use this Oh, a sneak peek into the next one. You're going to be needing something sharp in the next one. So I'm just going to use that to poke one hole. One in the stem and one in the bow. I'll pick one more in the flower and one in the stem. And it's good. I think it, this isn't like the squishiest squishy if maybe I added a little more it would turn out better but I actually think this one was a little bit better than this idea but this works if you don't have packaging tape because not all people do uh, I've heard of duct tape squishies too if you want to do that, you could do it that way. So you can use any kind of colorful tape, I guess. I'm Right now, I decided that maybe I, if I added a couple more foam things up there, it would turn out better. And I think it did help. So I'm going to go and tape over the hole that I cut right there. And we're done. Now, the second DIY is the scratch off the black. So, the only thing I'll need is a piece of paper, some markers, and a black crayon. So this is very cool 
but it's super easy. So I just have a little stack of paper. I'm grabbing it. I'm grabbing a piece from. And here it is. It very much blends in with the background. So what you're going to start doing is just coloring random splotches everywhere on the paper. So I have my markers and I'm just going to start doing it. So once you're done coloring basically these blocks of colors, that's it. And then you just have one more step after that. Um, this was taking me a while and it was starting to get boring. Like, I like drawing other things. It isn't just like random blotches of color. I like drawing other things that's not that kind of thing. So, I decided that I was just going to do half of it because it was getting really boring. So, I'm just going to cut that half out. Move that from there. And, yeah, we can move on to the next. This is 
the cutout piece of it. This is the cutout piece of paper with a whole bunch of blotches of color on it. And then you're going to need a hard surface to color on because this is a soft surface because you're going to color with black crayon on top of this, the entire thing. So I'm just going to grab something hard enough that I can write on. All right, found something hard enough that I can write on. Now I'm going to color with crayon over top of all the smart. <laughs> covered black-ish. You can still see some color going through. If you want, you can go a lot harder on the paper, color a lot harder, then like go over it again. But I don't want to do that. I am already very tired of just coloring a lot. Now, this is probably my favorite part of the entire video or of this project in the video. Was taking something sharp. Ah, here it is again. The sharp tool. You can use a pencil, a needle, blah, blah, blah. Um, you can just, and then you'll just scratch off the black, I guess. <laughs> I'm just going to do some. So this is where I'm going to lay off on the Mandela. You can see that it will come out like in rainbow when you scrape the crayon on top of the markers. 